Hello, and welcome to Betting Basics with Bad Bitch Kate. If you didn't already know, I'm Bad Bitch Kate. Um, in this series, I'm going to be going over some, if you didn't already guess, betting basics with you. So if you're watching our other shows and you think they're entertaining, but it sounds like we're talking a foreign language, hopefully I can help you out. So for today's episode, I'm going to be going over betting lines. So a couple of things to know about betting lines. There's negative betting lines and positive betting lines. Um, so I'm going to go over the difference between the two. Negative betting lines are our favorites. They're more likely to win. Positive money lines are underdogs. They're less likely to win. If you have a negative betting line, that means you have to bet this amount to win $100. Whereas if you have a positive betting line, you have to bet $100 to win that amount. So for example, if a betting line is minus 350, that means that if you bet $350, you will only profit $100. Whereas if the betting line is plus 200, that means that if you bet $100, your profit is 200. So negative money bets are less risky, but result in lower profits. Whereas plus money bets result in higher profits, but are riskier. If you're anything like our good friend Sale, you will only bet on underdogs, which are plus money lines, because when you win, you like to make it rain, baby. But you probably don't win as often, so there's that too. All right, so to illustrate this a little bit further, I have a standard number line here, right? Zero in the middle. But when you are betting, talking money lines, you have minus 110 in the middle, typically. Uh, minus 110 is what we call a pick em bet, um, or it's a coin toss. So basically, if you have two UFC fighters and no one knows which one is going to win because they're so close, it could very easily go either way. There's even money coming in on both sides. That's going to be minus 110. And the reason why it's not minus 100 or plus 100, you don't ever see minus 100 as a betting line, um, but it's because the casino is taking its cut. So these lines are all shifted in the casino's favor. So if there's a hundred people, half of them bet on one person, half of them bet on the other, and it's plus a hundred or minus a hundred, either way you look at it, the casino will walk away with no money. But because it's minus 110, the casino is getting their cut. So you will see if you have a really heavy favorite in a really big underdog, like for example, Valentina Shevchenko and Lauren Murphy. Valentina Shevchenko is going to be a really big negative number. I think she was like negative 1200 or something crazy like that because she is a huge favorite. People know she's going to win. So again, negative 1200 means you have to bet $1,200 to win a hundred. So most people feel like it's not really worth it and therefore they don't bet on her. Whereas Lauren Murphy, if she's a really big underdog, that means that she's going to be a really big plus number, like maybe plus 700 or something like that, which means if you bet 100, you're going to win 700. So some people, it's enticing to throw a little money on that because, you know, low, low risk, high reward, although it's not very likely to happen. It's like playing the greens in roulette. So there we have it. Another example, heavy favorite, Sugar Sean O'Malley, heavy underdog, Chris Mutino. The, the zombie, I think that's his new nickname or something. So um, really big numbers mean a really uneven fight. The negative is your favorite. The positive is your underdog. And that's that. I hope I helped you out today on this episode of Betting Basics with Bad Bitch Kate.